Welcome back to another episode of Shop Tools I Can't Live Without. In this episode, we're going to kind of keep with the theme that we had last week with ratchets, except for we're not using power this week. We're talking about regular old ratchets, except for they're not your grandpa's ratchet. I know all of you are familiar with the old school craftsman style ratchet. Everybody's got them in the tool collection every time you bought a tool kit from a big box store that sells them. Um, they come in those kits and they're okay, not really. These ratchets are cheap. The ratcheting mechanism in them, the teeth is a, it's a very long stroke just to get very far. Although, although they're a decent ratchet and they come with a set of decent sockets. Well, actually they're not even a decent ratchet. As far as I'm concerned, these are garbage. Garbage. I have switched all of my ratchets to the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh polymer, or the it's like a plastic handled ratchet. Um, I have all quarter, three eighths, and half inch. Um, I have multiples of them actually, um, and that is actually something here that I really couldn't live without. So let's compare the two ratchets for a second. On one hand, you have this Craftsman ratchet, it's all metal. When you're working around a bike, it actually kind of scares me to be taking some bolts off around any painted surface with this. It's very easy to scratch paint. It's very easy to uh, scratch powder coat, things like that. Whereas you have these polymer ratchets, although they're from Harbor Freight, they still have a lifetime warranty, just like any of their other hand tools. And you don't have to worry about scratching anything. The bottom of the handle is rubber. The top is like a polymer. And the ratcheting system is very close. You can hear the difference. This is the Craftsman. not quite as many teeth as the Harbor Freight. Makes for a lot smoother action. It's a lot easier to get a hold of something. I've used Matco and Snap-on ratchets in the past. I really, for the money, have not found a ratchet that's as good as these Harbor Freight polymer ratchets. My suggestion, go out and pick yourself up some. If you are doing anything mechanical, working on a car, working on a bike, which is probably why you're on this channel, working on bikes, uh, don't really think you're going to find something that's much better for the price and you get a lifetime warranty. Again, I wasn't paid by Harbor Freight to do this review. They didn't give me these ratchets. I have multiple of these laying around here. I just find it to be one of the best ratchets you can get for the money. And I need to make sure you guys knew that. So that's this week's shop tool I cannot live without. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That'll get you the, the latest updates on the metric build we're getting ready to start. It's also going to give you the updates on the sports that's behind me when I get it finally rolled out on the road, get it rolling, and make sure you check out our Instagram. We have a lot of pretty cool pictures on there of stuff. Uh, I'm into vintage bikes, so here lately I've been finding a lot of those here locally. I get some pictures of those and I'll post them. But I'm into everything. Metrics, baggers, bobbers, choppers, you name it. If it's got two wheels or four sometimes, I'm into it. So stay tuned. I'll catch you guys on the next one.